the machine. Uh, we have already seen about unpacking, simple enough. Uh, now let's install the machine together. Now uh, let's follow the instructions, quick start guide. Uh, see what the first thing we have to do. The first is unlocking. What that means exactly is uh, we have to unlock the LPU housing. Yeah? The LPU is now the new uh, laser system that uh, Form Labs uh, has introduced um, in the machine. So let's take away the tag here. So I would keep this, do not throw it out, just in case if you ever have to transport the machine. So hold on to these parts so we can uh, secure the LPU system. So they also did that very clever, that you have to take this away, then you can take the tag off. So that's how it looks again. So just keep that. Then the next step is to power it on. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Of the setup will give me instructions on the touch screen. So, congratulations on your new Form Labs printer. Press begin to set up your device. Confirm that you have removed the LPU latch uh, and the packaging before proceeding. That was these that we just removed. So yes, we have removed it, very important, not that we damage. Now it's scanning for available networks. We are going to connect it to our Wi-Fi here. Printer has successfully connected to the 3D model Wi-Fi network. Let's go to the next step. It is important that the printer sits level so the resin does not overflow from the, from the tank during the printer. So, we will have to level it like we had to level the Form 2. We have received these discs again to level the printer. For those that have the Form 2, know how it was done. So, it is basically the feet that we are adjusting. Turn it, turn it in the right direction until it's relatively in the center. So let's go to next. Tap next to begin the tank installation. And now we have to align the resin tank side walls with the left and right tank carrier rails. Okay, let's open up the machine. What do they mean exactly? These are the uh, side walls yeah, with the carrier rails. That way we have to make sure it clicks in nicely. And also again, uh, that we have the correct connection and click it in. Raise the locking arm to allow the build platform. This is the locking arm. This we have seen from the form two. Go to next. Align the build platform with the platform carrier. Let's place that in. Let's lock it down. Go to next. We have already locked it down firmly. It's always important before we are installing a new cartridge or a cartridge that has been sitting for a while to shake it. Yeah. To remove the orange plastics, yeah, 
from the valve cover and also under by the rubber valve. Easy enough. And we will slide it in the back of the machine, also just like the form two. The cartridge is installed for best re results. Shake the cartridge before each print. We have uh, left off that we had to place a code in. It tells us exactly where to go. Formlabs.com slash setup, which I have already placed on my computer here. And let's go ahead and, and uh, place the code. So I'm already going to put my name in. Now the dashboard is here. Uh, there are many tutorials online already, but just to quickly explain, the dashboard is there to oversee my printers, um, how many prints were, uh, were done, material usage, uh, uh, the whole overview. I see how much materials left over in the resin tank and uh, when it is also time to change the, um, the cartridge as well. So now uh, we are ready to start a print.